welcome back guys welcome to my youtube channel techie amrit so we are back again with a new topic with a new session in our cloud series of azure that is storage redundancy in storage redundancy we have uh, like in order to manage our data in our any like uh, storage failure or any uh, storage outage or any any primary region any sort of any uh, like uh, if outage comes then how we are going to manage our data how we are going to provide our availability in different regions those who are going to accept access our website so the, the the azure provides us like different kinds of storages like local redundancy storage that is that is called as lrs versus geo redundancy storage that is zrs and there are and that we are going to divide it on the basis of primary region and secondary region so before I proceed, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and share so that uh, you keep enjoying my my this uh, cloud series of Azure. So let's start with the next slide. Okay, so guys, what is Azure Storage Redundancy? Basically, Azure Storage always stores multiple copies of your data so that it is protected from planned and unplanned events like transient failures, network failures, power outage, and and any natural disaster redundancy what it ensures it ensures that it meets your availability and durability targets in case of failures like suppose you are accessing any xyz website and some uh, outage or any failure occurs in your primary region so you uh, so you do not feel any like lag in the availability of data so it uh, it immediately uh, uh, getting the data from the secondary region that is uh, from for or you can say the uh, the account the type of the account that we have uh, used for our storage it will access from that region so when deciding the redundancy option uh, obviously the cost and the availability are both that should be uh, are the main trade off that decides are the decidable factors so azure storage redundancy basically divides in two portion one is the primary region and another is the secondary region so it depends how we are going to use it and uh, redundancy in primary region we have local redundancy storage as in the diagram you can see that there is one storage account suppose uh, uh, I have a storage account where um, uh, uh, in one data center I am just copying the data in uh, uh, in same data center in three different location so uh, LRS replicates your data three times within a single data center in the primary region and it's protective data from server lag and driver failures but what if the disaster or uh, or a flooding or any s uh, sort of like outage will come in your data center then your data is not recoverable recoverable and it will be lost so uh, in order to keep this thing in mind we we can overcome this the risk with the, with using zrs grs or gzrs these are also the uh, the redundant storage schemes uh, whenever whenever we write any data in our storage account in, uh, in three different uh, 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 in, in s storage account in sorry in three different locations in one data centers then it is the once it goes for for writing the data it asynchronously synchronously writes the data and return backs right so it cr creates the three replicas so this is local redundancy storage now what is zone redundancy storage as it is uh, uh, as the name specifies zone so the uh, in one region in one primary region you may have like three different zones one is a b and c and each zone has its own networking own storage account so it synchronously copies the data uh, to to tr to three different locations suppose one uh, in one zone the outage or any 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 transient failure occurs so uh, uh, dns repointing re, uh, uh, will uh, will come into the picture and uh, helps to uh, reconnect to the to the nearest available uh, center so always keep one thing in mind when we are developing any uh, storage redundancy architecture that always use uh, retries exponential back of retries and retry policies so that if anybody is accessing any particular portion and any transit failure occurs so the retry will uh, not show a like a failure behavior to the to the front end user uh, it it uh, it basically takes uh, like a few minutes of like a few seconds of delay to the on the screen and it immediately repoints to the to the to the nearest server and get back your data and make available and accessible to whole of the users who are accessing that particular XYZ 
uh, UI from your uh, storage account right so this is a uh, whole about the primary region now comes the secondary region what if like in your primary region if uh, if zone is also failed and your local storage is also local region is also uh, transit uh, has any transit failure occurs so what about uh, how we can going to protect our data so uh, Azure provides two kinds of uh, secondary region storage redundancy accounts one is ZRS and GZRS. So in geo redundant storage, it copies your data synchronously in three different, uh, a, a, in a three times in a single location in the primary region, as you can see in the picture. So it copies uh, it having one storage account copies the data in three in three different uh, uh, PCs, or you can see three different store three different um, storage uh, places. So uh, it is a combination of LRS where uh, uh, if it then copies your uh, data asynchronously from one location to to the secondary location that is uh, you can say that 100 miles away from the primary region a write operation is uh, first committed to your primary primary region and replicated using lrs then updated replicated uh, data asynchronously to the secondary region so if one if one data center fails so it immediately get back your data uh, using uh, from from the from the from the secondary region so this is how geo redundant storage uh, storage works so this is the most effective or you can say um, uh, from the cost point of view is also a bit of expensive but high availability and uh, you would say no lag of availability of data and uh, is required by the user then they use geo re geo zone redundant storage basically it is a combination of uh, uh, zrs and uh, lrs in primary location in three different zone using three different storage account it copies the data a asynchronously and side by side once copying the data f uh, in the primary region it uh, it immediately copies the data to the secondary location that would be 100 miles away uh, using uh, that lrs structure in in some different in different uh, uh, you would say in different data center where they are st uh, keeping the copy of the replica of your data in three different locations so this is guys this is this is the whole structure that how we are going to manage our data if any uh, redundancy or um, or, or any d uh, you have to re data recovery had to be made then uh, uh, azure provides primary secondary region based uh, storage uh, schemes so th uh, how it looks uh, when you when you basically uh, 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 you create any storage account uh, i have explained all in my previous video i will give the link to the i button please link uh, look that uh, uh, video fully so first we go to portal account then we have different azure services then we click on the storage account click on the add button then we have uh, this uh, pop-up uh, pop where you can say you can you after filling the most of the mm, the information you can see uh, the here is a replication you use a local redundant storage uh, LRS so depending upon the standard and the premium you will see the replications so you can choose either LRS ZRS geo redundancy storage or GZRS right so this is it guys this is for uh, this video now we get back with the with our new video so stay tuned please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon thank you bye